Welcome to linuxcalp.com. Let us see how to install and configure a DHCP server in CentOS 6. So this is a root user. Install the DHCP package. So the DHCP instruction is completed. Disable the SC Linux. So here the SC Linux is disabled. Once SC Linux is disabled, you have to restart the machine. this file you have to add the network interface so I, I am using e0 this is the variable required to add the network interface DHCP or GS save it next go to the configuration file Here no lines are defined, so uh, you have to copy the variables from the sample dot DHCP dot corner file. So copy the sample file to the dhcp.com file. To over it, type S. So now the file is overrated. So you can see these lines are copied from the sample file. So before editing this file, uh, you have to check your network settings. This is my host name, linuxcalp.com. This is my network settings. Static IP address, uh, DNS. So in DNS, I have Q1 Google DNS. And at most, gateway. MAC address Number protocol is static Now you can configure the DHCP file Now I am going to configure DHCP according to my network settings This is my host name. You can hash out the unwanted uh, variables. So this uh, line should be enabled in order to uh, make the logs of the DHCP server.
So this part is the most important uh, DHCP configuration part. So here is the range uh, which you have to mention. So this is the range you will be assigning for the client clients uh, of the DHCP server from this range to this range the IPs will be assigned. The range should come under the same subnet. Here I am giving the, my gateway address. I am going to hash the remaining lines. So this part is uh, if you want to uh, ena enable the uh, DHCP reservation for any particular client system. So here you have to mention the client MAC address and the fixed IP address. Uh, here you have to mention the IP address. This IP address should come under the IP range which you have mentioned earlier. So here you have mentioned the IP range. For example, the IP should be like this. So now I am not receiving any DI IP addresses, so I am hashing these lines also. If you want, you can enable the DSCP reservation option. Now I'm saving this file. Well. 
next restart the service now you can check the status of the DHCP server So here you can see the DHCP server is now running. That's all. Thank you.